Welcome back everyone, this is Sean Thomas, official PvP Hardcore Server 385, and I'm going to show you the right way to do the copy. So we've done a few episodes, and this is the refined version. We are on the Quetzal. We have a new structure. I had a video for creation of this, so if you'd like to see that, you can check out my other videos. Uh, we've got the copy in the claw. We're going to go ahead and land in a relatively peaceful area. We've taken the copy from its pack, and we're doing this so that we can get multiple copy tames. All right, he's going to come check me out. He won't attack me because he doesn't have any bonuses. He's just checking it out, seeing how things are going. I'm going to shoot him once. He's down for the count. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab some prime, and I'm also going to take out, take some of these narcotics here got to be really quick with the narcotics as they drop really fast. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a few on him there. Let's hop aboard. We're going to open up the door, come in the refrigerator here. We're going to take, I don't know, let's take about 10. Let's do seven. I already have a few. All right. Okay, he's still unconscious, doing great. We're going to go ahead and transfer over just the prime meat, because again, they only eat prime meat. you got to be quick about this, too, so it doesn't expire. Hopefully, I did my count correct. So for a 32, that eight, eight meat, and there's four left on it. That should be plenty to tame him out completely. We do want to keep him narked up, so we're going to do that one more time. And he won't need all of this meat, so I'm going to take one of them off, put it back on the bird. And that's a tamed copy that quick. You see that? From takedown to tame, only a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and tell this copy to stop following me once I get off the bird. Get off of me. Alright. Where did the copy go? Alright. Stop following. I'm going to pick him up with the E. I'm going to hop back on the bird, go inside here, and. Whoops. Keep that generator going. I'm going to go ahead and throw the copy. Where'd he go? Where'd the copy go? You know what? <laughs> we may have found a new bug here with the copies. There is a possibility he's still on me. Yes, is he? There he goes. Alright, so he tamed out at 46. He started around 32. What I'm trying to do is toss him in the room so I can have a multiple copy tames. If I push K, we see him on me. I may not have made the room large enough. Let's go ahead and close the door here. Alright, so now he is inside the chamber. Excellent. I was worried he got insta gibbed as soon as he went in, but it, it made the animation for throwing him. And then it uh, took him right back in. So we are flying with one copy inside the chamber. He should be safe in there. I'm going to go fly over to where his fellows were. And I'll show you again just how easy this is. So this is where we found his pack. We removed him from the pack. Hopefully hopefully there's some more over here we can pick off for the demonstration. Normally the compies will come running up on you and they'll attack you if they're in a group of more than one. There's a dead copy that we had to take down earlier. I had the wrong arrow type. You want to make sure you got the trank arrows on, not the standard. You will one shot kill them with the standard. Looking for another pack of copies. Do we, <laughs> do we lose our copy? He's back here. All right. So that's the problem with trees when you're navigating. There's a chance they might get stuck on a tree and get bumped off. So you'll have to avoid the trees when you're flying around with a structure full of copies. I was hoping to, to tame a few more in this video.
This is the location that they spawn in on this island here. They are a little hard to spot as they are quite small. Still on the hunt. May have to call it since there haven't been any more spottings and we are getting a little dark here. We'll give it one more pass. This is a, a really hot spot for the the compies. They tend to come right around this area most of the time. over and perhaps there's some over in this far side. I think that's a Dilo. Something up ahead, mostly birds. Okay, looks like the, the gang had gotten wiped out by taken on too big a prey or maybe uh, some dillos or raptors engage them. But at this point no more to be found. If you're looking for them and you ran out of spawns for them you can always kill off the creatures in the area, fly away, come back and it should reset with a new series of critters. As you see, there's a compi down below. Go ahead and... Ooh, nice level 92 one. We're going to go ahead and pick that one up. Let's take this 92 back with this across to where there's no potential for other dinosaurs taking out our tame. This will be the last one we do because of it getting dark. It's always harder to see on the videos in the darkness. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lay it down just about here. Alright, it's going to follow the Quetzal. It's not going to take off on me since they're curious sorts. Coming around behind, trying to get a good shot on it. Level 92, that is a big piece of poo. And hopefully I didn't just kill it. And I did. Why did it die? But it did. Unfortunately, that would have been a nice tame. It looked like it was a body shot. I am using a crossbow with trank arrows. But copy down. Alright, because it's a clear night, I'll continue on. So, before the challenge was getting a st couple stacks of prime meat, not even stacks, just filling up on prime meat since they don't stack, and then flying around you've got about seven minutes from the time you collect the prime meat to the time that you need to put it on the compi and get the tame done. So, with this setup, we've got three refrigerators stacked full of prime. They'll stay nice and fresh for three hours. We've got a generator and some lights in there. It's a walled-in structure with a roof, so it won't take any damage. And we can just take our take our time looking for copies. It's much more forgiving than when you're trying to 
swiftly find and execute a t copy tame. I was just hoping that there'd be more targets to play with. Usually they're packs of four. There should be another copy around here somewhere. The light source is actually coming from inside the room. It's bleeding out. So that area is the, the primary location that I just came from, is where I've been finding the copies. A little bit further down the beach, all around this area is where they're supposed to spawn. However, I've only found them where I'm at now and where I was before. We've got an egg down there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Looks like it's a, a Dillo egg. to buy more copies. I got some raptors. Clear these guys out. Make one final pass. If I don't pick up a copy, I'll bring them back and show you the pack bonus. Should be some right around this area. It tends to be the, the hot spot for them. I'm afraid there aren't any more copies to play with, so I'll, I'll check back later on when it's daylight, easier to find them. Heading back over to our base, I'll show you off the, uh, the bonuses that you can get, our little gang of Valentinos. So I've got one on my back. I'm going to grab that Stego egg. And when you're carrying the shoulder-mounted dinos like I am, you want to double tap E to throw them. All right. So that was a nice change they made so you don't accidentally throw your dinosaurs. You double tap. So you can see that some of them have got higher bonuses than others. I think that's more of a bug. But uh, you throw them in the mix, like some of the ones that have a five. If I rethrow him, he'll get a, a higher bonus. I saw an eight for a moment, hoping that we will get a little bit higher than seven. All right, there's an eight. So they all should be an eight because I think there's nine total. So these copies will run in a pack, and I think the, uh, from what I understand, the pack bonuses are going to increase their attack speed, attack, and movement speed. Alright, let's go ahead and give these copies some more names and uh, we'll check back in the next video. Um, my recommendation for stat bonuses is on health. You're going to want your pack to stay at max health. Their attack damage can be up to, you know, we got 300, we're just going to go ahead and leave that as standard, but the, the health, we're, gonna, we're hoping to get well over 1,000, 2,000 health on these guys. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Thomas, official PvP Hardcore Server 385, showing you the meat wagon over here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see additional content, subscribe. It's free to do so. And I'll catch you next time.